I did the shark skill test, I looked at the box there and I'm like, easy. And then I did it and I call it a PMO. PMO stands for piss me off because it was a heck of a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And it still pisses me off. <laughs> So well, isn't it deduct points like if you touch the line or yeah. whatever too? So like that's what pisses you off. Like you can do it and you can do it fast, but if you're touching the line, you're losing all these points. Yeah. And you know what I do to my clients? I say it's a scratch. That's a no rep. You touch the line, you do it over. <laughs> that's right? cool. I know. <laughs> I know. Aren't you nice? <laughs> I don't want to do the math on that. You give me a good test and I'll count it. <laughs> so, okay, it sounds like you guys are fairly familiar, so we can go over this quick. But, um, and I think you guys got the idea that in the test, you can pick which direction you go. But I use this lo a lot as um, like an adaptation in training. So I'll use it as a drill when we're training. So if we are using it as a drill, I like to go clockwise and then also have a chance to go counterclockwise. And I'll usually do one drill on the right foot, then I'll do a drill on the left, and then I'll go the opposite direction with the left and then the right. I know this is my right foot. I just can't talk. So, so again, you're on your toes, right? And you're trying to get all these squares in balance and it's challenging because you're trying to get a quick movement while maintaining that proper posture on one foot and a lot of people will miss because they're trying to rush it and what I'll tell them first is I say okay I, we, we know that we're trying to get the fastest time possible but make sure you get the accuracy first and then work on the speed so make sure that you spend the time to get the good foot placement and then work on the speed. Right? Now, you'll find some people, let's say I was doing this leg, I'm going around this direction. I'm going clockwise. Well, then going counterclockwise, that, that is a change. It feels different. I'm worse going medial. Ugh, this is horrible. Okay, I'm worse going medial than I am going lateral in direction. If that makes sense. Okay? So there's your, your shark skills. Don't say any no rep on that. I know I touched a few points, but uh, yeah. Now, with the with the Davies test, I don't know why. In fact, they even have like a whole set of tape right here for the Davies test. But if you take a look, when you draw the box or create the box for the shark skills test, the edges of the box is the same length as for the Davies test or the shark skills test. So, I don't know, it's kind of redundant to go and make a whole other set of lines because your Davies test is upper, upper body quickness. Now, of course, you can have some fun with your upper body as well on this. So let's say, um, or you could put color, you know, on here. So you could call out the color. So you call right, call left, down, up, two back, two forward, crisscross, applesauce, okay. You are amazing. That was incredible. Like seriously, those were plyometric exercises to the max. Like that was crazy. Seriously. <laughs>